More than 300 homes tonight in Westminster have no access to water due to a road collapse that destroyed a water line. City leaders say State Highway 123 was partially destroyed three months ago, but Friday's storm wiped out what was left. Our Stephanie Borman tonight has the details. This is what's left of Tocoa Highway in Westminster. According to city officials, in February, the state was doing repairs on the highway when one side of the road collapsed, breaking a water line and leaving nearly 300 homes without water. So we had to come out here, the city did, and put a temporary line in. After the first collapse, the state shut down the road. Meanwhile, city crews got to work on rerouting the temporary water line through Dixon and Singleton Road. It needed to be moved in order for road crews to excavate and repair the highway. But the temporary water line didn't hold up. In the aftermath of Friday's severe storms, it was ripped apart when the other side of the road collapsed Saturday afternoon. And with the rains we had Friday, it overwhelmed this section of road, and then the whole entire road collapsed. Mayor Brian Ramey says the area is so rural, there's no other way for the hundreds of homes affected to get water. So since Saturday, it's been all hands on deck to reroute the line as quickly as possible and restore water to the area. But it's taking longer than anticipated because of several challenges. Our guys hit rock, so we've been trying to battle with the rock, and we've only got a small four-man water crew. So we've been going as fast as we can. With no timeline of when water will be restored, several people have started donating bottled water and dropping it off at the fire department. Firefighters are distributing the water to those in need. Stephanie Borman, 7 News. If you're interested in donating some water, the Westminster Fire Department located at 216 Emergency Lane is open 24-7. If you're in need of water, you, you can drop by anytime to pick it up.